Is this actually an intense version of Elysium or a completely different fragrance? Stay tuned and find out. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow my Instagram page. But today guys, we are reviewing the intense version of Rosa's po most popular fragrance, I think, which is Elysium Parfum Cologne. I absolutely love that fragrance. I've had a bottle in my collection for around two years and it's a staple for the summertime. One of my favorite freshies, extremely complex. So. When I saw Rosa launch an O Intense Flanker, I was honestly a little bit worried on how this would turn out and if it could actually overthrow Elysium as probably one of my favorite freshies from the house. And I do have a lot to say about this O Intense because it took me by surprise when I initially sprayed it and it was not what I was expecting. But before we dive into the scent profile, let's go over some information. Now this was of course launched in 2023 and just came out, it's brand new and probably the most hyped fragrance this year so far. The retail price on the only size they come in, which is the 100 ml, it is gonna run you $330, so I think that is a little bit more expensive than the original Elysium Parfum Cologne. The concentration is kind of unknown, just like the Parfum Colognes. We don't know if those are Eau de Colognes, Eau de Toilettes, Eau de Parfums, but when I remember watching a Rojo Dove interview, he said he would never create anything below an Eau de Parfum. So I'm just classifying this as an EDP. It definitely does wear a little bit more dense, a little bit more deep than the original Parfum Cologne. So yeah, I think it's an Eau de Parfum. The perfumer is the man himself and the owner of Rosa Parfums, who is of course Rosa Dove. He is one of the most knowledgeable people in the entire perfume world. He has created so many fragrances and is behind such great creations. And he used to work for Guerlain way back in the day, and you can definitely tell he carried some stuff from Guerlain over to Roja. And Guerlain is one of the most well-known, respected, historic brands when it comes to perfumery. So with all the information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with Elysium O Intense now. All right, taking a look at the box, which looks very similar to all of the other Parfum Cologne boxes, but in white, which looks incredible. I love the white with the silver and blue accents. Of course, Elysium O Intense. You have that like Transformer logo, which Elysium's known for. Uh, nothing on the bottom, on the sides, you do have this texture, which is a nice touch as well. Nothing on top. On the back, you will have your information. Of course, a fragrance by Rosa Dove made in England. And then when you turn it around and you pop up the top like so, it is a push tab. You do have this nice kind of light blue teal velvet insert where your fragrance is housed. All in all, the box is a very sturdy, high quality cardboard. So let's look at the bottle now. So taking a look at the bottle, of course you expect nothing less from Roja. They have some of the best presentation with the bottles. This one, however, is in a nice frosted blue colorway. And the glass is a little bit different. It's almost slippery and matte, which is a nice touch. Of course, Elysium O Intense, Roja Parfums. The cap, you do have the Roja Dove logo, as well as on the front of the cap. On the back, you do have a fragrance made by Roja Dove made in England. On the bottom, you do have your sticker and your batch code right there to authenticate a product to see when it was produced. And these Rosa caps are so heavy. This one almost feels a little bit more heavy than the gold plated ones because I'm not sure what they have around here, but just look at that attention to detail. Very, very nice. Look at that there. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on the atomizer, but these atomizers are in a gun metal colorway, which is nice. So you can't pick these up as well. In the top, you have rhubarb, thyme, artemisia, lavender, musk, bergamot, grapefruit, and lime. In the mid, you have black currant, jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, rose, lily of the valley, and apple. In the base, you have vetiver, juniper berries, black pepper, vanilla, musk, benzoin, galbanum, cedarwood, labdanum, dry wood, ambergris, violet leaf, leather, and cypher oil. And this will be classified as a fresh spicy. So let's spray this and test out the atomizer. Roja upgraded the atomizers with this one, guys. This one is pressurized, unlike the other fragrances. So hats off to Roja for that. And looking at that note breakdown, you expect nothing less from Roja. Very, very complex with a lot going on. So if you are familiar with the original Elysium, this top note is going to take you by surprise. It might not be what you're expecting because it goes a very completely different route, being extremely green, herbal, very bitter and that's coming from that rhubarb and artemisia note which gives us this very watery vegetable vibe very herbal 
but it's also extremely aromatic and spicy from that lavender and thyme note. A huge dose of lavender, much more than the original. And I believe these notes are almost the exact same besides that rhubarb, which sets this one apart very much to the original. However, you are still going to get that signature juicy grapefruit like you find in the Parfum Cologne, but just a much more niche-like fragrance, in my opinion, a little bit less crowd-pleasing than the original as well. So this is definitely more targeted towards like the niche lovers that just don't like their kind of generic blue style freshies. I think this is way more up your alley. How I would describe this is it's a much more grown up mature version of Elysium. I was personally expecting just a much more intense version of this scent profile, like the grapefruit amped up, which is not really the case. However, it does have a more deeper density to it. You can definitely tell it is highly concentrated compared to the Parfum Cologne which is a good thing, so it does smell a lot stronger in the top especially. And I've always been a sucker for a good rhubarb dominant fragrance. It's always uplifting, it always makes you happy, especially like an Ancelot by Marc Anton Barois, as well as Zara's Joe's Rhubarb, which is a fantastic rhubarb as well. It just always comes across very fresh and watery. But yeah, that's the difference between the original and the O-Intense, is this one is much more herbal, green, and spicy in the top. Now, once you make your way into the mid of Elysium O Intense, is in my opinion, it turns very soapy, almost like clean clothes, clean linen. And that's obviously coming from all of those white flows. And I was worried seeing all those white flows as well, because sometimes when Roja uses those notes, they come across very powdery and actually smell like flowers, just like Oceania, which the mid of that one, not the biggest fan of. This one, however, is very, very good. It literally just smells like clean laundry that you just taken out of the washer and getting ready to put them in the dryer. That's the exact vibe I get with this mid. Of course, you still do get that black currant note, which is prominent in the original, very fruity. It's still there as well. So it does share a very similar DNA to the original. You can absolutely detect the Elysium scent profile, just revamped and more mature. Now, finally, when we make our way into the base, which I'm very familiar with, like I said, this is my scent of the day today. So I actually have the, the dry down on my inner elbow here. And you are going to get that signature vetiver. Now, the base is where it's the most similar to the original with that vetiver note. Very dry, earthy vetiver, almost grassy as well. However, you are gonna get an amped up leather note to be a little bit more darker, rugged, and all in all, not just as airy as the OG Elysium. So mostly that vetiver, the juniper berry, of course, as well, very fruity juniper, along with a dark, rugged leather note. Now, Elysium's always been probably the most complex freshie I've ever smelled. That fragrance has tons of layers to it. This one is no different, very complex fragrance. It's always changing like almost every hour on skin. So that's a good thing that it did keep its complexity to the original. It's not a linear fragrance by any means. For me though, if I were just going to buy one Elysium, I've never smelled them before, I would much recommend the original Parfum Cologne. I think I still prefer that one. That one is so special. I've created so many very fond memories with Elysium in my life. And that is just a hard freshie to beat. I love the top of that one more so than this one. No, this one should lean towards more things I like of a fragrance. Very niche-like, very different, very unique. But just something about a good kind of simple freshie like Elysium in the top at least just to die for that grapefruit note. Even though if you have smelled Elysium before and you thought maybe it was too generic and boring for your taste, definitely go for the O Intense. And also if you own Elysium and love it, I don't think buying this one is redundant. It is actually different enough to own both of them. But I do wanna mention that not everybody's going to like Elysium O Intense like the original Elysium. So I would highly recommend at least getting a sample or decanting the O Intense rather than blind buy it. For the best seasons and occasions to wear the O Intense, I prefer this one in the fall, spring, and summer rather than just the spring and summer like the original Elysium because that one's a lot more airy and fresh and watery. This one, however, has some more darker, deeper uh, qualities to it. So you can't pull it off in the fall and even like fall evenings, spring evenings, summer evenings. So it is a little bit more versatile than the original Parfum Cologne, which is a good thing. For occasions, this one is more versatile than the original as well because you can dress this one up and wore it for more of a formal event 
you're wearing a suit, if you're dressing up for a wedding, going on a date, something like that, this one works better than the original where that one is a little bit more casual, like wearing it to the office, wearing it to the beach, wearing it with shorts, etc. However, this one could be worn both ways perfectly. Now for gender and age groups, I think this one is more of a male targeted fragrance, of course. It definitely does have those qualities. It's not feminine at all. Even though at the end of the day, if you are a woman like watching this and you like the original Elysium, you wear that one, you might be able to pull this one off, even though this one is even more of a male fragrance than the original. And for age groups, this one is a more mature, amped up version of the original, like I said. So it definitely is more targeted towards the older audience, like 30s, 40s, 50s, and up. However, you can still pull this one off. If you are like a teenager or a little bit younger in your 20s, like I am, just it gives a more of a mature vibe over the original Elysium. Now wrapping it off talking on the performance, which a lot of you guys are very interested in because I know a lot of you guys complain about the original Elysium, how it's very bad performing. You only get a few hours of longevity. I got some bad news for you if that's what you expect because this performed exactly the same to the original as far as longevity goes. So it's not gonna be a beast mode Elysium or nothing like that. So don't go into it thinking that. I sprayed both of them on each arm wore it throughout the entire day and before bed I sprayed more to see how it, if it was still there when I woke up the next morning and they were both gone so about the same performance even though for me I never had complaints with my Elysium bottle my bottle is two years old so it's been maturing and macerating for the last couple years and that stuff is pretty strong I got about about average performance not above average not below up to the eight hour mark of longevity and for projection people can smell you like throughout the the entire day even because i remember one compliment i got with the original was wow you smell great and that was towards the morning time maybe only an hour or two after application and then later in the day she's like did you apply a different fragrance because she still smelled it but like how complex these fragrances are they change so much so the projection, I got a couple hours of good projection from the O Intense. Just performs very, very similar. Not much different at all. I'm not sure maybe if this one matures and macerates for a few years or a few months, it might start to become stronger. But the O Intense just means a more like deeper, darker scent profile than the original Elysium. Not really intense when it comes to the performance. But that's gonna do it for my review of the very hyped up Elysium O Intense. Let me know down below if you ever tried this one, if you tried the original, you're thinking about trying this one. I'm really, really curious. So we'll talk about that in the comments. Besides that, leave a like on the video, subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll see all of you back here in my next video. Take care, everybody.